Shake Table Lab by Isabella Bacayao, Laura Hong, and Charlotte Sa. Before we started building, we sketched down some ideas for our tower. Our first step in constructing our tower was to start building the foundation of our first story. We added strong cross braces to our first story to ensure that it would be stable. To make sure that the first paper floor supported the weight placed on it well, we taped straws to the bottom of it. We started constructing the second story foundation on top of the first story once it was stable. We added cross braces to the second story to stabilize it and also added paper to the second story floor. Our first story base was 20 by 20 centimeters and the height of our first story base was 20 centimeters. Our second story paper floor was 23 by 23 centimeters and the height of the second story was 19.5 centimeters. The second paper floor was 12 centimeters long and 7 centimeters wide. We tested our building with two sandbags on the top and two sandbags on the bottom. The first story remained stable, but the second story swayed from side to side. We strengthened our building by using cross braces to help stabilize our building and we used strings to help support the weight placed on the second story. The strongest part of our building was the first story because the cross braces were strong which helped strengthen the first story. The weakest part of our building was the second story because it didn't have enough cross braces and the ones we had were weak. The second story paper floor was also weak because it didn't have enough support from the cross braces. We used our string by tying it to the second story and the first story cross braces on two sides which made sure if the building were to sway it wouldn't sway too far to either side. We used tape to connect straws and anchor down the building to the base. If we had any extra supplies, we would create more cross braces for the second story to make our building stronger and more stable. This is a chart of the X, Y and Z axes during the shake table test. The green X axis represents the movement of the shake table. How many sandbags did your building support? Our building supported a total of 10 sandbags, two on a two on the top and eight on the bottom. Where did your building fail? Our building failed because of bottom cross price. It snapped and had a hole in. If you had to redo the entire building, what would you change? I would have added more cross brace on the bottom story so that it's stable. What did you learn about building earthquake build proof buildings? I learned it, I learned that you need to have a big, wide, and strong bottom story to keep the whole building together. What did you enjoy about this project? I like testing the building out on the shake table because it's a moment of truth. Plus, I love spending time with my friends. How many sandbags did you building support? 
Our building supported a total of 10 sandbags, eight on the first story and two on the second story. Where did your building fail? Our building failed when the first story cross braces bent and snapped, causing the whole building to completely collapse. You could change or do anything to your building, what would you do? We would definitely add more cross braces on the second story because we didn't have enough. We only had two rather than four. What did you learn about building a safe earthquake proof building? I, I learned that you have to have a lot of cross braces to support the weight placed on it. What did you like about this project? I really liked um, just having the whole experience of building it, learning what is important when building earthquake proof buildings and just building with my friends. It was really great. Thank you for letting us interview you, Charlotte. Thank you. How many sandbags did your building hold? Our building held a total of 10 sandbags, eight on the bottom and two on the top. Where did your building fail? Our building failed when our cross braces um, snapped, causing the building to collapse onto the table. If you were going to build this all over again, what would you do? If we were to build this building again, I would most likely make the cross braces sturdier. Therefore, the, it would be harder for the building to collapse. What did you learn about the building? I learned that to make a proper building, you need to have lots of cross braces or else it will collapse. What did you like about this project? I loved working with my friends and testing out new ideas about how to build buildings and having fun with structures. Thank you for letting us interview with you. Thank you.